What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Fresh TV. I'm one of your hosts, the most of all one, Bronco. Manny isn't here right now, but let's get started. Today, I'll be reviewing AEW Unrivaled Series 1. Um, Cody, just Cody, no BLs, just Cody. A uh, little detail on Leonel. know. As you can see right there, he is indeed blonde. And a uh, little tidbit, I don't know if Manny would uh, touch up on it, but if you look at the inside of the box, there is a B. I believe if you um, have them all, it spells out being the elite or BTE, one of those. But um, yeah, and now let's get back to some fresh TV. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be reviewing the All Elite Wrestling Cody Rhodes figure from Jazzwares, and then I'll do some size comparisons to the Jazzwares UFC figures for those of you who asked. I'm excited to finally get my hands on this figure um, because I'm just excited to finally review it for y'all and at the same time shout out to my friend franco whose channel i will be placing inside the bio for y'all to give him a look i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a full turnaround look at the packaging itself my packaging is a little damaged but i plan to take the figure out of the box that's why it doesn't kill me as much as some you know i'm not a big unless they're pop figures it's a different story so let's give this baby one more spin just so y'all can get a look at it Get a little closer. All right, and let's go ahead and crack this baby up. Open. I said crack it up. That's weird. Here's the figure outside of the packaging. Cody Rhodes in all of his glory, I would say. Um, with this sledgehammer wielded by the gods by the name of Mjolnir. I'm just kidding. That's a total Thor reference. Um, and it's actually a hammer that Thor uses, not a sledgehammer. But here he is. I'm going to go ahead and give it a full spin so you can see the front and the back of the figure. And then I'll start breaking down the articulation and letting y'all know if this figure is worth the buy or not. Uh, from what I know of, though, there are things that I already like about this figure. And I'm excited about, excited to show y'all because I think Jazzwares is doing an incredible job with some of the articulation they're giving these figures and to me articulation is a big must unless you're more of a collector who just wants to pose these to put them up somewhere i totally understand but i'm a collector who likes articulated figures so here he is and let's just go ahead and see what kind of articulation this guy has here's the figure standing uh let's just go ahead and get into the articulation now so cody doesn't come with much accessories he only comes with the sledgehammer as i showed you before but let's get a look at this sledgehammer um So, I mean, it's nicely painted, not too shabby, but, um, let's get the, sorry. You know, it's just pretty average, something that you can mess around with, something that you can pose them with, and at the same time, um, maybe you collect legends or other figures, this is a cool little sledgehammer to add to your collections, to your collection. All right, and let's go ahead and get Cody, sorry for moving the camera like that, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get the articulation on Cody down. All right, so <clears throat> just Cody outside of the packaging. All right, I'm going to show you up front how the how he looks. So there he is right there. See him? I think there's some likeness to Cody Rhodes, which is pretty cool. Uh, the likeness on these figures seem to be better than the likeness on the Jazzwares UFC figures. But, uh, even got his tattoo down. All right, check this out. I think the paint apps on his pants look perfect. These look good. Look at that. Down to the shoes. It just looks great. They, they actually took their time with it, and it looks amazing. But let's get into the articulation. So, first off, let's check the head. So the head can move oh shoot yes that far up this far down and let's do it sideways so again this far down <clears throat> this far up and of course you get your side to side and then pretty much your all around head wobble okay the arms <clears throat> you hear that right there? That's the elbow. The elbow goes. The elbow is pretty. The elbow is pretty articulate. See what I mean? Go all the way around with it. 
all the way around this far down. I'm trying to go as far up as I can with this thing. This far up. You get some bicep swivel. So what I mean, that's really cool, man. So not only are we getting some articulation up here, we're getting bicep swivel, which I feel is such a must on figures. If you don't like, if you don't add bicep swivel, it's always good to put it right here within the forearm or the uh, near the elbow, like NECA does. And let's see if these are. Let me see. Yeah. So the elbows look to be double jointed, which is really cool. So you get some double jointed elbows. All right. Articulation in the hand. Spin it all the way around like this. All the way around. And I believe there's a hinge. Yes, there is a hinge inside the wrist. So you could bring it that far down. And that far up. And of course, your side. And your <clears throat> side. Boom. So there's the articulation there. The articulation is, in this, is the same for both hands. For both arms. But let me just show you how far. Let's see. So it goes pretty far up. I feel like it goes a little more up on the right on the right arm than it does on the left arm. And then it goes down. It's double jointed as well. Only difference is is that Cody seems to be wearing a glove on this on this hand, on this figure. On this hand, but still looks amazing. All right. Then you got your belt. Put it out. Your belt. Let me see if I can get that a bit closer. There you go. That's pretty dope. It says Attitude Killer. Okay. Get the front of the belt again. The details on the pants. It's magnificent, man. Uh, so let's go ahead with the legs. Let's check the articulation there. So you can go this far forward with the legs. And this, oh, okay, that's not even, I'm sorry. <laughs> this far, I'm trying to, yeah, yeah, that far back with the, okay, that's a bit of a letdown, I'm sorry. But yeah, that far back with the legs, right there, see that? <clears throat> you do get some thigh swivel though, which is always dope, just gotta mess with it a little bit, as you can see. The thighs do swivel and then there is articulation within the inner thigh right on right here and then we get <clears throat> it's some pretty articulation in the knees it seems to be double jointed but this is as far back as we can get it right there it's far back right there see that then we got the swivel in the boot. To me, as I said before, it's okay if there's a swivel in the boot because it doesn't look weird too much. Boots, um, you can move around, but when it's a leg on a human, it looks kind of weird. Uh, so there's some swivel. And then the articulation down here. Mm. Get the foot to go that far down. This far up from the side view. That far down. Okay. Trying to see if I can get a little further up. Yeah. That far up. You can get a CR for Cody Rhodes. And is there a pivot in the ankles? Uh, yeah, there's some ankle pivot. Yeah, there it is. It's a little bit. So that's cool. So you get angle pivot as well. Check the other leg. Let's see if this one maybe bends a little more than the... No, it doesn't. But there's still good articulation. There's still a thigh swivel. There's still... Oh, far down. All right? Oh, that far down. I feel like this one had a little more articulation. This leg than the last one. <clears throat> this far up. 
Okay, let me place the figure back. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> while I was messing with this figure, uh, Cody's belt fell off. Um, so it's detachable, cool. So here's the belt, even closer to the camera so I can get a better look at it. We get the camera to focus on it. Attitude killer, all right. So this is really cool. Plus it locks in right there. And got yourself a little belt for Cody Rhodes. Okay, so um, so far I'm digging this figure. I think it's really cool. Uh, just a few things I want to point out. Um, I specifically got this figure so I can give y'all a review on it. Uh, to you know, uh, <laughs> so y'all can decide if it's worth the purchase or not. Um, am I a fan of wrestling? I have to admit, no, I'm not. I watched it when I was younger. Um, I got really more into UFC as I got older, and I absolutely love UFC. But I do not knock on any fans of wrestling. If you're a fan of wrestling, that's awesome. We all have things that we love and things that we enjoy. And to be honest with you, uh, I'm friends with a lot of people who love wrestling, so I have mad respect for them. In fact, the friend that helped me get my hands on this is a wrestling fan. Um, so the thing about this figure... Uh, let me see. It's, it's really dope. I just wanted to get into that to, to explain to y'all that uh, I may not be the biggest fan of wrestling or even, even a fan within itself, but I have a lot of respect for y'all. And I know that I love action figures, man. And uh, I, I saw that these were coming out. Just thought it'd be super cool. With the 1997 uh, or 1987 price range, um, they're pretty dope. I know that these things are flying off the shelves for some reason. Collectors are grabbing them left and right, and other collectors are having a hard time. So I hope your hunt is well. I had a friend from Louisiana find this and get it to me, so that's really cool. Um, side view, the back view of the figure. That's what I forgot to point out, and I'm so glad I did before I end this video. Let's see the articulation real fast within... The center this is always so important for me so you get some like not an ab crunch but there's some articulation in the center of the body like near the abdomen see that right there so then he's going that far back he's going this much forward which is cool and then you get some articulation in the waist check that out which is really cool so now he's this far forward and now he's Pulling a Keanu, going that far back. Um, great articulation. I think this figure has great articulation. If you're looking for it, I think it's a must grab. You should definitely go out and find this figure. Get it added to your collection. If you're a fan of all elite wrestling or just a fan of Cody Rhodes in general, the only time I've ever seen Cody Rhodes in action was when he fought against Stephen Amell. And uh, all of his appearances on the show Arrow because him and Stephen Amell are really good friends. And he was able to come out on Arrow on a few episodes which I absolutely enjoyed. Um, so I definitely said, you know what? If I have a Cody Rhodes figure, I could definitely, shoot, put him in the same uh, area as Arrow. That way, you know, homies can link up. But let me go ahead and get into a size comparison real fast. Uh, let's see how tall, how tall he is. Let's see how tall he stands. Now I'm trying to get him as straight as I can. A thing is, guys, before I say any more about this figure, uh, that is a gripe I do have. Some of the paint apps, it feels like some of his body is lighter on the arms than it is on the chest area, and that kind of throws the figure off, but it still looks great, even in the lighting look. Let me turn that off. Boom. I think it still looks great. I'll keep it like this for a while. But um, even without the lighting, you're getting this figure right here, which looks amazing. He looks great. The paint apps, uh, the likeness to Cody Rhodes is good. Uh... But my gripe was was within the legs. I feel if you're a wrestler, you want a uh, wrestling fan, you want your figures to do a lot. And the fact that it can only go so far forward and so far back really throws me off. And I'm hoping that Jazzwares gets the hang of that um, with the next wave that they release. Um, and hopefully a lot more figures that y'all enjoy will be on it. <clears throat> Again, I forgot my measuring tape. So I'm using a very old one instead of the one that I have at my job. So this looks like super jacked up, this measuring tape. But Cody is standing at nearly almost almost seven inches. So this figure is almost seven inches tall. For those of you who wanted a size comparison with the UFC figures, uh, I'll go ahead and give that because the UFC figures are a lot smaller. I'll be honest right now. I'm trying to get my figure posed so I can put it right next to Cody. 
And I think it's just McGregor's figure that's pretty small. So, boom. We got Cody standing at seven inches and McGregor standing at, let's check this movie out. Oh, no, 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 McGregor's a little over. No, McGregor's about six inches, Cody's about seven. So that's cool, you got a whole inch, a whole inch shorter. For some reason, these figures seem a lot smaller, but they're really good articulation. So if you are looking for this figure, I definitely say go out and grab it. The little clip that I put at the beginning of the video is a good friend of mine, uh, Franco, who I will put the bio to his channel below, who helped me get my hands on this. He means the world, man, thank you so much. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you go out and get yourself Cody Rhodes action figure because this baby looks pretty damn cool. And on top of that, thanks everybody who, uh, watches these things man it really means a lot i hope this uh convinces y'all whether or not to go get him let me bring him a little forward next to the camera so you can get a better view see that boom you know what i mean really dope figure as i said before is it worth the buy i believe it is so go out and grab yourself uh cody Rhodes action figure and thank y'all so much again uh like subscribe comment share uh god bless y'all and at the same time uh i have a podcast as i said before friday the 14th podcast uh follow us on facebook and instagram it would mean the world to me here we talk about horror movies you're a fan of horror movies anyways guys y'all have a good one peace